Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I am journaling in my 2020 A5 Hobonichi Cousin Evec. I know it's been a couple days since I have talked to you guys and I've been journaling, I just haven't gotten my shit together enough to film it. But now I'm here and we're reunited. And it feels so good! Okay, so I'll take you on a little mini, mini flip through. I'm planning on doing another one at the end of January so you guys can see more of the pages in depth. But I did journal um, over this last week. Like I said, I just been, I, I haven't been able to do the voiceovers and to edit it all. It's just this first couple of months are going to kick my butt. And I apologize if I disappear sporadically. I'm here, God willing, alive. I just, I'm doing the best I can, guys. Uh, so I am putting in washi tape, the days of the week washi, because, um, as I've stated previously, my pages are a hot flaming fire of a mess and I can never find what day it is actually. Um, so there we go. Um, now this little spread for, flip, see what I'm doing. This was for Thursday. So yesterday and I... Um, was kind of like pepping myself up because I want to start really paying attention to um, the things that I eat. Um, I know I've said this like so many times, but can you imagine like how many times I have to pep myself up for this? If this is how many times you've heard about it, it's like a daily thing in my head. So um, I saw these, um, I liked that little starting line and then I liked the little smiley face with the oranges and the banana. I thought that was super cute. And then this little... Um, a uh, quote from the magazine. It's from a new Real Simple, and it's a good one. It's the latest issue, and I was pulling out some things from it, some pictures and stuff from the February issue, but there was these words, and they say, every day, every meal is a new chance to fuel your body, mind, and mood. Amen, right? Like, seriously, I uh, just want to fuel my mood uh, appropriately, and then I won't be a crazy hoe. So... Uh, now I'm throwing in stickers and I got a really sweet package from my friend Jamie and I love that she wrote Emily I hope this finds you well and outside your own head lol like that girl knows me uh-huh <laughs> it's funny how you guys know me like even though you don't know me <laughs> you know me so anyways I'm just journaling about that and then um, I was journaling about how it's 22 days until Michael and I go away for our little weekend um, over Valentine's Day. We always go to Kansas City because he has a um, work conference that we go to down there. And I always go with him and my in-laws come and watch the kids and they have a weekend. Um, so this year we're like doubly lucky because we just got a weekend Um the two of us and now we're going to get another one here in a couple weeks but um I also wanted to you know like feel as good as I can for our little weekend basically I want to feel like sex on a stick so I'm just gonna you know eat some cauliflower and hope that uh you know I feel good so um I think that we can all relate to that I mean he wouldn't care if I, if I was an ugly freak but you know you want to feel like attractive right you know you know what I mean you know what I mean bean I hope you know what I mean so I'm just putting in some um like some uh some what am I trying to say word stickers be wild high five fist bump adventurous weekend shake it yeah so yeah those are <laughs> that's what that spread is about and um yeah, and then I put one of the little um, girls up in the top corner, and she's winking, and I love it. <laughs> so anyways, this pink piece of construction paper, I went and volunteered for the teachers at school on Wednesday, and I did a lot of cutting out of uh, shapes <laughs> for things that they had to do um, for projects. And so I took this... Um, piece of construction paper that was left over from a heart that I had like cut out of it and it was just going to go into the recycle bin so I took it and I was like oh, I'm going to put this in my journal so I put that in there and it made an awesome little fun tip in like extra page in between these two pages where I could journal about more stuff and um 
Thursday. Um, the kids had friends over after school, um, and they were outside for a long time, like building snow forts and stuff. So I put some of those winter stickers, um, which were a gift from um, my mom's friend Pam, the craft goddess. Um, she was getting rid of some stuff in her stash, and so she let us go through um, a pile, and there was these super cute winter stickers, and I knew I would use those. Uh, and I also on my to-do list for that day was to call in another um, refill for Fatty's insulin prescription. And it's so funny because when I refill that prescription, they it's like you're calling the pharmacy and they ask you for your name. Like, name please. And they don't want my name. They want Fatty's name. So like, Fatty blank, our last name. And it's so funny. It's like, it's like a human or something. And I was, I was making the call at my mom's house and she was listening and she just burst out laughing and she's like, oh my God, they ask for his name. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so it just reminded me like of a human. So I put the little cat in a, in a suit, <laughs> fatty, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so that was my doodle for the day, um, for Thursday. And then I'm just putting in some Posca hearts and, um, you know, just writing all about the, the things, the things, the insulin, um, and the play date in the snow. And then for Wednesday, uh, that is the day that I went to the kids' school to volunteer, and, um, it's really fun because when I go there, um, they never, like, sometimes I tell them I'm going to be there, and sometimes I don't, because I don't know if I'm going to be, see them or not in the hallways, but, more often than not, I see them like on the way to recess or lunch or something. And they're always like so happy to see me. And then I get a giant hug in the middle of the day. And that's the best thing ever. So I found this doodle online of a spider monkey. Because whenever Addie says goodbye or she sees me or something, she always says spider monkey hug. And she just wraps her, pick her up and she just wraps her body all around mine like a spider monkey baby. And so I saw that, um that doodle and I thought it was perfect because it's exactly what she does and I loved it. Um, it looks a little mangled but I know that it's a spider monkey and the little baby's tail is like wrapped around her arm. It's so cute you guys. So that's another instance of like where you could just look online like this was somebody's artwork so I you know like copied it by looking at the computer screen um, but I'm not like selling it or anything like that so I think that's okay I hope. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was super duper cute. And then I drew a blowfish using my How to Draw Almost Everything book um, because she also asks for blowfish kisses because we make up tons of funny kisses, you know, like Eskimo kisses and elephant kisses and oh, what else? Butterfly kisses. So we made up a blowfish kiss and so um, spider monkey hugs and blowfish kisses. That's what made me happy that day. <laughs> and then Henry, I, re I drew a picture of him or like a kid with like spiky orange hair sticking his tongue out because uh, he always thinks it's the most hilarious thing to give me a hug and then lick my cheek. Well, <laughs> he thinks it's the funniest thing. And um, so that's what I drew a picture of him with his tongue hanging out. And I said, hugs with a twist. It's like, caution. You never know if you're going to get licked on the side of the face. Um, he thinks it's just the funniest, the height of comedy. And, um, you know, he's my boy. So, and then I am just, um, let's see. Oh, I'm writing in the, um, the words spider monkey hugs. And these are my Arteza Twee markers. And, um, they are water-based ink, so they will smear if you get them wet. So they're kind of like watercolor pens a little bit. Now, I've gotten a few questions from you guys, like, what do you doodle with so that you can put watercolor on top? And I have talked to you guys about this. I don't know. I use the Pigma Microns to doodle. And then if I'm going to add watercolor, I just try and be really careful because they will smear. Um, but less so than some other markers, so less so than like a gel pen um but I don't know if you use the pigma um the micro perms those will bleed through your paper because they're permanent um but yeah so I have not found a good solution I think if you use ballpoint pen you can color um watercolor over it and it will not smear but 
I don't know if you guys have any good ideas, correct me if I'm wrong, list them in the comments. I am not 100% sure, and I have not solved that problem for myself yet either. So, um, what am I writing in here? Um, oh, I wrote caution, because, you know, you might get your face licked. Um, and then some stickers. I love that little pig. He's, like, working at a desk. Um... And then I just threw in a lot of stickers. This spread was a lot of stickering and just going through my favorite, you know, stickers you guys have sent me, ones I've got on Amazon. Um, and the, on this side of the little fold-over flap, I put these super cute stickers. And it sort of tells a story of um, one of Addie's best friends who stood up to this boy who was bullying her about her food allergy. What a dick, right? I mean, this fifth grader is going to bully a little second grade girl about her food allergy? Are you kidding me? So her mom told her to, next time he did it, to say, Hey, stop bothering me about my food allergy and get out of my face. And she's like the sweetest girl. And so she's like, stick up for yourself. It's fine. If he's going to be a jerk and he won't listen to you and you've walked away, then just tell him to leave you alone. And so she walked out of school the other day and she, her lip was quivering and I was like, oh, what's wrong, sweetie? And she said, I stood up to him and I was so proud of her. And, uh, yeah, her mom was just pulling in the parking lot and I was like, I was like, good for you, sweetheart. Stick up for yourself. Yeah. But it just made her, you know, nervous because she's not a, you know, a mean or person or anything like that. So she was like, just felt weird about it. But I was like, you go, girl. You stick up for yourself to that mean person. So that was, I just thought that was adorable. And then I doodled a little girl with her finger up in the air and put a bunch of stickers around it. Um, she's much cuter than my doodle, by the way. And then I put a yes sticker and a girl squad sticker because after, it was an early out on Wednesday and then we had a brownie meeting. So um, right after early out for school. And um, during that meeting, we talked about... Um, being a great friend and also cookies like sales and stuff because our season starts soon so mostly it was about um like friendship and stuff like that but these little um labels I was sent and I think they're probably like book labels or like um folder labels and I just put our brownie troop and then subject being a great friend and then I had journaled a whole bunch on the other side about how I volunteered and then um, just getting to see the kids in the middle of the day, which is something I really love. And then I put this box in the corner and I wrote something that Henry said in the car the other day. He was talking to his friend on our way home um, to play in the snow and stuff. And he said, mm, I think I'm going to be an architect because they were talking about building the snow fort. And his friend, his, his best friend was like, I thought you were going to be a paleontologist. And then Henry goes, I think I might be one of those multiple job guys. You know, like Isaac Newton. <laughs> what? I love that kid so freaking much. Oh my God. So I just had to uh, record that so that I would not forget it. And uh, that's the kind of things that I love to put in my journal. Um, some of it's memory keeping. Some of it is encouragement for myself. Some of it is just um, like feelings. Some of it's collage journaling, art journaling. It's all just a big a uh, hodgepodge of stuff. So it's not one thing, it's not another. It's kind of everything all together. But I do um, I do write about things that are serious and that are weighing on my heart and stuff like that. Um, I have gotten asked that before too. But a lot of times um, I like to encourage myself through my journaling. So it's like quotes or, you know, stuff like that. But now I'm just using more stickers and um, a lot of these I don't know where they're from because you guys have sent them to me. Um, sweet, sweet, sweet people. I love you. Um, and I'm about ready to show you guys the pin board and the um, everything because I think that it's really it's slowing down in the P.O. box so that I can get all the pins on there and stuff. And um, and I just love it. I have loved every minute of hearing from you guys and hearing about you and pictures of your towns. And I, it's just been the best. You have no idea. 
Um, and so these are the pictures of the journaling that you guys didn't see from this last weekend. Um, I can, I'll go through that more, but um, basically doodling and drawing and um, sprocket photos and magazine collage images um, that were meaningful to me and that helped like explain the day and things we did. So that is a snapshot of my journaling and I'm so happy to be back with you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments um, or send me a message on Instagram. I'm so glad you're here. Um, please subscribe and um, come back and see me again. Thanks. Bye.